Hello and welcome to um, today's video on trigonometric functions. Today we're going to be solving these type of questions you see on the screen. Okay, so let's go straight into the first one. Now, um, the first question says sine theta equals half. Solve for theta. Solve what? What is that theta? Okay, so just like in GCSE, we're going to work out the first value by doing shift sign. So we're going to say theta equals shift sign half. If you put that in your calculator or you just remember from GCSE, that is actually 30 degrees. Now, this is your principal value. This is something called the principal value. What the principal value is is the first value you get from your calculator, but there are more values, okay? Theta is not just one number, it's, it's, it's a few more numbers. In fact, technically it's an infinite amount of numbers, but here we only want a specific amount. So we're gonna do something new called the cast diagram. It's a new thing in A-level, but um, it's very simple. On the bottom right, we have cos, C for cos, Top right, A for all, top left, um, S for sine, bottom left, T for tan. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to mark this 30 degrees onto the cast diagram. And how we do that is we just start from the positive x axis and go anti clockwise. So this is 30 degrees. Okay. Uh, this would be just just so you get used to it. This would be sixty degrees. Uh, this, of course, that is ninety degrees, isn't it? And um, sorry, this would be, for example, a hundred and forty-five degrees, for example. Okay, so that's how you mark angles onto the cast diagram. You start from the positive x-axis. Positive x-axis means this thing, and you go anti-clockwise. Okay, so please keep that in mind when we mark our um, angles. If you have a negative angle, which sometimes your calculator gives you, you just, instead of going anti-clockwise, you just go clockwise. So if I wanted to mark minus 20 degrees, you just say, okay, here we go, that is minus 20 degrees. You don't have to write the minus because it's implied. Okay. Uh, let's carry on. Let's mark the 30 degrees. Here we are. So we marked 30 degrees, which our calculator told us, and it ended up being in the all region. Okay, so 30 degrees is in all. Because we're working with sine, this quadrant, this top left quadrant is positive, and all is always positive. And the bottom, the, anything that's not sine and not all is negative. Okay, we'll explore a bit more of what that means. So don't worry about that. Um, but because we uh, did, th because 30 degrees was in the all region, which is positive, we're going to draw another 30 degrees from the x axis. Okay, we're going to draw another 30 degrees from the x axis in the other positive quadrant, which is sine. So here I'm, go I'm going to draw another 30 degrees from the x-axis, like this. Here we go, okay? So, we've drawn our two lines on the cast diagram. Now, I'll show you why we needed to do that, because 30 is our principal value, and what is our other value? We just need to think, okay, what is, you know, what is this angle, okay? That orange line that I just drew, what is that angle? And you'll realize that is just 150 degrees because, well, that would have been 180 degrees. We went back 30, 180 minus 30, 150. So 30 is one answer and 150 degrees is our second answer. Okay, very simple. Um, the plus minus thing might be a bit more confusing. So let's just do another example. Okay. So let's get rid of this. We said our final answer was 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Let's go again for the next question. 
draw a cos diagram, C for cos, A for all, S for sine, T for tan. And now we're working with cos, okay? So be careful because basically this is going to be positive now. Cos is positive and all is always positive. These two are the negative things, okay? Um, let's, let's start this question. Uh, first thing we're going to do, write cos theta equals 0 0.6. Then do shift sign and work out the principal value. And when you do that, shift cos uh, 0 0.6, you'll get 53.1 degrees, the one decimal place, as your principal value. Okay, so this is our principal value. We're going to mark this onto the diagram. Uh, how, how are we going to do that? We start with the positive x axis and you go anti clockwise. Here we are 53.1 degrees and we ended up in the all quadrant all is positive what else is positive remember we are working with sine i mean sorry we're working with cos so cos is always positive okay whatever sine function you're working whatever uh, trig function you're working with that is always what you're going to take as positive and also all so why are we taking this as positive why what's the point of that because now we're going to draw, remember, remember what I said before, we're going to draw 53.1 degrees again, but f but in this quadrant, in this quadrant, and from the x-axis again, it's always from the x-axis. Here we go, 53.1 degrees. Why did I draw that? Well, now I'm going to work out my second value. Okay, this was my first value. What is my second value? And remember, we're going to measure from the positive x-axis anti-clockwise. So here we go, round, 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 stop. So we need to work out what is that angle, okay? And, well, if we did a whole 360, we technically did a whole 360, but we went back 53.1 degrees. So that is literally just going to be 360 minus 53.1 degrees which is 306.9 degrees i believe and that is our second answer okay so i hope you're getting used to these um again just literally you have to do lots of examples lots of questions the first time you do it to get used to it but once you get used to it it's going to be very powerful to use because it saves a lot of time so let's go to the next example. So we had 53.1 degrees and 306.9 degrees. We'll leave that here. Sine x equals minus 0 0.4. So here we might start thinking about what is the negative part of the diagram? What is the point of the negative part? So we have sine x equals minus 0 0.4. Um, firstly, what we're going to do, work out the principal value, x equals shift sign, shift sign of minus 0 0.4, and we get, we get minus 23.6 degrees, okay, so we've got cost, I'm going to write cost out, and we're going to mark minus 23.6 degrees on here, there we go. Now, this is very interesting. We're working with sine, but we ended up into the cos region. Okay, that means we ended up with the in the negative quadrants for this question anyway. Okay, cos and tan are going to be negative in these quadrants. That means I'm going to draw, remember I have to draw 23.6 degrees again, right? I need to draw that again. Where am I going to draw that? I want to draw that in the other, in this other negative quadrant. And I want to do it from, always do it from the x-axis, okay? You never just randomly draw it from the y-axis, no. Nope. You always draw it from the x-axis. So here, 23.6 degrees. And um, let's start working out what are those angles, because... Here's the thing, even though this is the principal value, 
Look at our region. This is very interesting. Minus 23.6 degrees doesn't even fit into 0 and 360. Well, that's fine because we're going to start going anti-clockwise from the positive x-axis. And if we do that, we got we start that's 180 plus 23.6 degrees. Okay? So 180 plus 23.6 degrees, we got 203.6 degrees is our first value. What is our next value? Well, we did a whole 360 basically, but we went back. We did a whole 360, but we went back 23.6 degrees. So what is 360 take away 23.6 degrees? That is 336.3 degrees, I believe. 336.3. And these are our two values. Okay, for sine. I hope that made sense. The, again, it's going to be confusing for the first few questions, but trust me, when you practice them a lot of times, it becomes very easy. Let's go to the last example. Tan x equals minus 0 0.2. Cost. And we're going to write tan x equals minus 0 0.2 and solve for the principal value put that in your calculator shift tan minus 0 0.2 you get minus 11.3 degrees now well where are we going to put minus 11.3 degrees we start from the positive x-axis and because it's negative you go clockwise here is 11.3 degrees we were working with tan, but you ended up in the cos. Okay, For tan, these two are positive, isn't it? All and tan are positive. Cos and sine are negative. Okay, and we got a negative value. Just fine. Uh, we're just going to go to the... Because we ended up in the negative quadrant, we're going to go to the other negative quadrant, and we're going to draw... We're going to draw 11.3 degrees. Okay? And where are we going to draw 11.3 degrees from? We're going to draw from the y-axis? Nope. Always from the x-axis. Another 11.3 degrees. Okay. Now what you notice is, this is actually, um, it's kind of like a straight line. Yeah, I didn't draw it perfectly, but theoretically, if I did draw it perfectly, that's a straight line. Okay. Um, now let's start working our, values out from the positive x-axis and go anti-clockwise uh, we would that would be 180 degrees but we went back 11.3 180 minus 11.3 degrees is 168.7 i believe okay 168.7 degrees and then our next value well luckily because it's a straight line, I don't need to sort of do any of these plus minus. You just literally can plus 180 degrees to get to the next part of the line. And if you add 180 degrees, you get oh, 348.7 degrees. And these are your two values. Okay. So try the exact same questions, I would say. Try the exact same questions and see and try to get the same answers as what I got. As soon as you get the same answers as what I got, I would say try to start your own questions in the exercise book. Now, lastly, if you ever see questions like this and they say solve it for, and then again, they say the same thing, maybe between 0 and 360, all you need to do is literally try to get it in the form that we were looking at before, where we had, <clears throat> sorry, where we had some sort of trig function equals and then a number. That's what we want. Right now we have a trig function equals a, some number and then another trig function, right? So how can we get it out of that form, right? What we're going to do is, well, easiest thing to do is just get rid of that cos by 
dividing both sides by cos. You know, that goes away. And then I'm just left with sine theta divided by cos, which is actually just tan theta. So I'm left with tan theta equals root 3. And literally, I can just do my cos diagram method again. And exact same thing with this. Right now, I have 1 plus sine theta equals 0. I just need a trig function equals a number. So easiest thing to do is we'll just get rid of this positive 1. Just minus 1 to both sides. This goes away. I'm left with sine theta equals minus 1. And again, I can just do my cast diagram method and work out some solutions. And there we have it.